Hi everyone, good morning and uh, this is the first video on um, Rex programming and um, in this video we will see you know um, how to write a um, hello world program in Rex and um, the ways of um, various ways of executing Rex program how you know implicit way and explicit way and batch mode of um, executing a program all those things we will see okay and uh, as an intro in 1960s and 70s um, uh, C list is the uh, only uh, you know system programming language in mainframe platform, and C list is nothing but a command list. Okay, and um, that is basically a interpreted language. Interpreted language means it's uh, it will execute line after line. Okay, and that can be executed by two ways. One is explicit way or implicit way. What is explicit way? If you give a location of a source code. Uh, and uh, you want C list interpreter to execute, that is explicit way of execution. Implicit way means you just give a utility name, don't give a location of a PDS where the utility available. Then system search in its um, you know pre allocated uh, data sets and it finds and get allocated for get executed for you, that is implicit way of execution. Okay, so basically, an uh, explicit way you are seeing two ways here one is uh, you open a PDS, uh, you create a member in the member, you write a write global program. And command of a member in the left hand side line command if you give a ex this code will go to this uh, member will go to c list interpreter and c list interpreter will execute these lines and it will get the um, output of hello world to the terminal this is one way of implicit execution second way is in a command line you can give tso ex and um, complete location in mutu.c list uh, within parenthesis first and close and in this case also this will go to c list interpreter and execute you will get the output so these two ways are called explicit way of executing a uh, series program and implicit way is nothing but uh, don't give a uh, location of your source code just give a utility name like tso first okay if you do invoke like this and um, what will system will do is it will system will search the first into set of data set which set of data sets the data sets which are allocated against sysprop db okay and those data sets it will be looked up and if it is found it will take it up and it will send it to a series interpreter that will execute it again okay now um, so what is sysproc data set um, uh, how do you know that what are all the data sets allocated against my sysproc in my installation you want to know that um, you have to give a tso isr ADN command if you haven't uh, this is a very powerful and useful command in data life if you haven't tried it before you can do it now but i'll cover this command in detail maybe somewhere down the line in mainframe tips and tricks videos Okay, so TSO ISR reading if you give, you will get an output um, in a panel format in the panel, the top command line view for find sysproc. If you come, if you give it, you will know that left hand side you will have a sysproc, right hand side you will have set up data sets. So, in those data sets, this command will be looked up. And um, so, you write the utility, if you keep the utility in any one of the data set which is against sysproc, then you can implicitly execute your source code. Okay. And uh, some people invoke, you know, like instead of TSO first, TSO percentage first with that they will invoke. What is the purpose is, um, uh, basically when you give TSO anything, um, the command will be looked into a TSO command libraries. If it is not found in TSO command libraries, like, you know, time is a TSO command, alt-lib is a TSO command, allop is a command, all these, uh, you know, send is a command. These TSO commands will be in a command library to look. If, and if it is found, it will execute it. If it is not found, it will go to sysproc, from sysproc, it will look it up. And if anything, any member is found, it will send it to series interpreter and get it executed. If it is not with a connector TSO command, not available in sysproc, then you will get a message saying that command not. Okay. So, um, that is how things will work. Mm, so, the percentage first means, if, if anybody invoke TSO percentage first, uh, what we are saying to system is, this is um, a kind of... Um, uh, my own command it is not a TSO command so what uh, system will do is it will not look into TSO command search it will directly go into sysproc and it will search and it will uh, find it and execute it so uh, this so that you will avoid the search time in the TSO command library this is only theory purpose you don't find any um, anything in real time because it is uh, even less than nanoseconds only you can uh, feel it the difference okay uh, so now this is all about um, the C list early days and in 1980s what happens is between 79 and 82 my colleague of um, um, IBM um, he had developed a language called um, uh, you know Rex um, model after you know taking basis exact language which is a which was a language available then as well as one of the scripting language and um, uh, since he took uh, basis X uh, he named the new language as uh, restructure extended exact language 
execute the rest right? language which is a rest okay and uh, this language is a very powerful language and very simple language and it comes with so much of facilities like you know it has extensive parsing facilities and lot of functions and um, it's not just interpreted language though it is basically interpreted language uh, later it, uh, it comes with the compiled version also we can compile and create a load module and get executed also so source protection is possible in case of um, uh, rex and um, uh, it has again rex is not a language of just mainframe platform series is a language of only mainframe platform rex is available in uh, most of the open system platform windows rex or um, object oriented rex and net rex there are so many rex versions available the syntax and basic syntax will be same in all, all platform okay so rex is such a powerful language so hmm, um, so when rex is added you know um, um, the rex um, you know or it, it has been added to um, IBM mainframes, um, if I remember, you know, it's around 1987, the SA architecture OS, and Rex is added to a mainframe platform as a system programming language. So when they initially added, what they did is, uh, they, did, they didn't create a dedicated library for Rex. They shared the same sysproc library for um, Rex also. So uh, what happens is, um, so for, uh, for making Big to work, you know, exactly for both C list interpreter and Rex interpreter, they slightly modify the C list interpreter part alone. What they did is, in a C list interpreter, um, in the top, first they will check that the first line of your code has a Rex keyword. If it finds a Rex keyword, then it will reroute your code to a Rex interpreter. Like this, the C list interpreter the, uh, top logic has been modified. Have been modified. Okay. Uh, why they so by doing that, uh, they were able to successfully share the same uh, sysproc library for both Rex as well as C list um, for implicit invocation. Not only implicit, even explicit. Where with this method, you know, you do a say hello world and. Um, um you do a say hello world and um if you do on the left hand side if you go ex what will happen is by default as we already said uh this ex will directly route it to see this interpreter and it will fail so what we are doing in the, in those days is we keep something like slash dot rex star star slash this is for commenting purpose in rest if you do that what happens is this code will go to CLIST interpreter. CLIST interpreter, uh, you know, scan first line anywhere X is come, it is coming, then it will take this number, it will read out to X interpreter. So, um, so this is, uh, this is, um, this is why, you know, the older programs or even today's program, whatever we are writing, by practice, we started doing, you know, uh, the Rex, uh, we, we include the Rex keyword somewhere in the first line. Okay. And um, so basically, uh, explicit base are same. And optionally, you can code here except if you code except, you know, TSO, EX, your, your library and utility name followed by except. If you code this, when you are invoking itself, you are saying that this is a rex utility. So, in that case, even if you don't have this last R rex, it's fine, you directly go to rex interpreter. But this way, when you are doing a line command EX, this is mandatory because without that, we cannot tell. Okay. And um, implicit way, the same thing. Okay, so I think um, this is um, this is about you know um, explicit and implicit way of uh, executing a Rex program. Now, uh, what happens is after uh, you know the Rex become you know very uh, very you know um, powerful and a lot of development started happening on you know uh, Rex. Uh, IBM later you know introduced a dedicated library for Rex, and that is called SysX. Okay, sys xx. Uh, while sys prog is a uh, shared for Rex as well as series, sys xx is dedicated for your Rex program. So, if you keep your Rex program in sys xx library, yeah, it is obvious you don't need this first line to have a, a Rex keyword anywhere. Okay, so uh, sys prog and sys xx are uh, two libraries which you need to remember. Uh, when you are coming for an implicit way of executing your X program. Again, the same thing, if you want to know that what are the data that are allocated against this X, give a command to you, so I guess I'll do it again. Find for this X, you come to know the data sets, okay. Um, so, uh, probably we will write on um, small hello world program, uh, we will execute it, and then we will come back and continue the uh, remaining steps like, you know, um, overwrite for versus proc, uh, sysxec like you know sysuproc uxx available 
and if you want to add a data set into you know on top of already existing data set how i can do it like you know alert command and all click command and um, and maybe batch ways of execution how these are these are the two you know online way of execution explicit and implicit way uh, if you want to you know execute my rex program in a batch way how i'll do that all these things we will see maybe you know after a small um, hands on okay sure okay let us do the um, hands on on our hello world okay open a pds and open your member and um, write a say hello world and let the first um, line have rex in comment anywhere come out of the program do a ex this is explicit way of executing the program so you got output it went to see the um, you know your rex center c list interpreter having the first line rex it rerouted to rex interpreter and you got the output hello world let's try to do the same program without rex keyword in the first line so now c list interpreter you know try to uh, interpret the code but say is not a valid command in c list interpreter so it gave the error saying that uh, a command say not found or it may be a rex um, program you missed to code the rex identifier so that kind of error message i'm getting okay so i can also execute you know like um, um see if explicit second way I, we have already discussed you can execute this way also and if i do that if i have a you know optional suffix as exec the same second routine now will get executed successfully because it directly routed to rex interpreter now okay at the same time without exec if you try to execute it will it will uh, it will give the same error the command say not found okay and i also told about you know uh, for implicit way of execution um, um you need to keep this routine in um, one of the pds which is allocated to sysproc or sysexec so to know the things i ask you to give a command isrddn if you give isrddn you will get a um, panel so this is your uh, TSO ISR DDN um, uh, panel output. So if you look for a sysxec um, in this command, you know, um, by command line, if you give a find sysxec, you will come to know this point. And these are the data sets which are your uh, rex exec data sets. So if, uh, if you look for, you know, find for sysproc, similarly, you can find, you know, list of sysproc data sets. So the sysproc data sets, we have, you know, C list as well as rex and sysexec data set will contain only the rex sources so probably you can try this tso isrdd command followed by find of uh, sysxx sysproc in your installation okay thank you